All right, so we're going to uh, import a file now. So I'm in Pro Tools, super boring. I want to just review that we made our session here. It's called my last name, Walter AS1. And just to review the file structure, this is super important. So when you make a session, it creates a folder. So when you're handing this in, moving it around, you want the entire folder and all the audio assets will be stored in the audio files folder. I've imp imported one file here. Um, and let's import a file. So I'm going to file, go the long way, import audio. And I can see the key command here, command shift I brings up this dialog. It's uh, already in this folder, but you'd have to navigate to the folder. I'm in a sound effects folder now, and I can arrow up and down and hit spacebar to audition the file, huh? right? There's a couple ways to get huh? the files in there. You want to avoid add, because adding will link to a folder outside of the Pro Tools folder. And so we want all of our files to be in the self-contained Pro Tools session, in this case, Walter AS1, right? So we want to convert or copy. Uh, copy is not visible right now, so I'm just going to convert this. Also notice when we highlight this, it shows us the file information. So this is 16-bit, 44.1 sample rate. Two channels, which means it's stereo. One channel is uh, mono. Two channels is stereo. Uh, it gives us the size. And Pro Tools needs to work at the same sample rate and bit depth, so it's going to import it. So uh, highlight that file, convert it, click done. And there's a few more prompts here. Where do you want to put it? Of course, we want to put it in the audio files folder in my Pro Tools folder. This comes up and you just kind of click next. And then do you want to go to the clip list over here? Usually you do if you're importing files or do you want a new track? It'll make a whole new track for you. I usually like to go to the clip list when I'm importing assets like this. So clip list and then the file, it highlights it when it imports it. And we can expand and contract this by the bottom left in the same way the hide show tracks. We can expand and contract that. Anyhow, so as our assets are imported, they'll be over there. Let's do it one, once again. Use the key command, Command Shift I. I'm going to find a file here. Um, sure, Ugh. sounds good. Mail grunt. Convert that. Click done. Audio files, yes. Just click enter, and then clip list. We're going to put another file there. There we go. Then we can just drag this file over to our session here. And we're zoomed so far out, it's hard to see what's here, but at least we have a little file in there now. Ugh. And I'm going to go through all the tools here next. And uh, that's how you get a file into Pro Tools. The other way would be through the workspace. That's Window, New Workspace, Default. And this gives us like a Finder or a Windows Explorer to um, search the file. So I'm going to go to my sound effects folder here. I'm, I'm using the key commands up, down, arrow, and command down to go down, to drill down into these folders. And then here's some uh, yeah, yeah. cheering sounds. I can do the same exact thing here. If I just click on the file, it'll audition it, and I can drag that over to the clip list. You could even drag this over to the timeline like that, right? Cool, so that's how we get, those, that's two ways to get files into Pro Tools.